Saba is a beacon of biodiversity renowned for its fascinating flora and fauna, as well as its diverse natural landscapes. Many of these rich and interesting biodiversity in Saba are found in the tropical rainforest of Saba, including the world's tallest tropical tree, which is found in the world famous Danum Valley Conservation Area in eastern Saba. The towering tree, Shoria fagutiana of the timber family Diptrocopaceae, measures up to 100.8 meters tall. Other iconic species in Sabah are the world's largest flower of the genus Rafflesia, the born and endemic proboscis monkey, orangutan, pygmy elephant, sun bear, and many more. Hence, forest conservation is utmost important in safeguarding our rich and unique biodiversity ensuring a better tomorrow for our future generations. As the custodian of Sabah's tropical rainforest, the Forestry Department strives to excel in forest conservation. The totally protected areas in Sabah are now over 1.9 million hectares or more than 26% of Sabah's total land area, an achievement having exceeded the International Union for Conservation of Nature or IUCN standard of 10%. The Sabah Forestry Department manages 86% of Sabah's totally protected areas, while the remaining areas are managed by Sabah Parks and Sabah Wildlife Department. This is a clear testimony of the extent of the state government's will for conservation despite the enormous opportunity cost foregone. The Heart of Borneo Initiative is another milestone achievement on forest conservation in Sabah. Fragmented forests were identified and connected, and wildlife corridors were established through this initiative. The Sabah Forestry Department is working hand-in-hand -hand with relevant agencies such as Sabah Parks, University Malaysia Sabah, and the local communities in protecting and conserving the forests at the foothills of Mount Kinabalu, a World Heritage Site and the tallest mountain in Malaysia and Borneo. Documentation on biodiversity in support of conservation through scientific expeditions was carried out at the adjacent Tinompo, Bukit Hamkwan, and Mansalong Forest Reserves by the researchers from the Forest Research Centre of the Sabah Forestry Department. The Ramsar Convention on Wetlands is another forest conservation initiative undertaken by the Sabah Forestry Department in preserving our natural heritage. The Lower Kinabatangan Sigama Wetlands in Sabah covers an area of over 78,000 hectares encompassing three forest reserves. A management plan has been jointly formulated by the state government to sustainably manage this site. The Kulamba Field Centre in Tundumbohangin has been set up for research and other conservation related activities of this Ramsar site. The EU REDD Plus Tackling Climate Change Through Sustainable Forest Management and Community Development Project is a project funded by the European Union with Sabah Forestry Department as the lead agency. REDD Plus is a mechanism which provides an economic incentive to encourage developing countries to reduce carbon emissions through sustainable forest management. It is an acronym for reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. And the plus means enhancement of forest carbon stocks through establishment of conservation areas, restoration and enrichment planting programs. To date, more than 1,350 hectares have been restored and over 1,000 hectares have been proposed for community conserved areas under this project for conservation purposes. In addition, over 3,000 hectares have been established through collaboration with the private sector. In promoting awareness on forest biodiversity and conservation, the Sabah Forestry Department has been proactive in establishing nature centres and recreational sites throughout the state. Today, the department, working together with relevant agencies, has developed more than 20 nature centres. Among them are the Rainforest Discovery Centre in Sepilo, Kawai Rainforest Camp in Tulupit, Manara Kayangan in Mount Silam, Rafflesia Information Centre, Class Pit Swamp Field Centre, and many more. Besides providing environmental therapy and nature appreciation, 
It is hoped that visitors to the nature centers would evoke a sense of awareness in conserving the environment. We must conserve the forest for our future generations. We must also conserve the forest for those who can't speak for themselves, such as animals and plants. Hence, conserving the forest will enable us to live in harmony with nature for a better tomorrow.